Hey there everyone, Laurel Beard here. Welcome to another Simply Card Making video with me today. Today I'm gonna to make these six cards for you for Christmas. These are Christmas cards. They came together so easily. Gonna be doing some heat embossing and using the Ken Oliver Color Bursts. So these are all watercolored panels here. So I'm taking an anti-static bag here. If you don't have something like this, this is called the embossing buddy. If you don't have it, try uh, baby powder, dryer sheet, cornstarch, baby powder. Uh, just rub that along your paper before you do any embossing and that's gonna help keep your embossing powder from sticking where you don't want it to be. I'm using the Ellen Hudson Holly Jolly stamp set here. I love the boldness of all of these sentiments and I love the sentiments themselves. It's just fantastic. So I'm going to use my Misty stamping tool here. It's gonna make this go really quick, uh, the stamping portion of these cards. So I'm gonna ink up the sentiments with some Versamark ink, press down onto my cardstock there. I'm going to take the second sheet of cardstock here, nestle it down there in the corner of the Misty ink up this sentiment with some Versamark and then press down. I'm gonna do that with all six cards here. I've got three different sentiments here from the stamp set, but how I get the sentiments onto the card panel is all the same. So I'm going to use some gold embossing powder here. Gold, I know. Uh, this is by Hero Arts. I am just dumping it onto my card there, flicking off any of the excess powder by thumping the back of it with my fingers, and then I'm going to heat set it with my heat tool. The key to getting a good heat impression is to allow your heat gun to heat up for a good 15 to 20 seconds if you can before you take it to your project. I love watching embossing powder melt. Am I weird or what? I, I don't know. I just like it. So again, I'm gonna continue on with this process. I'm gonna prep all of my watercolor cardstock with that embossing buddy. I'm gonna take the sentiment, line it up where I want it to be, onto my card base, pick it up with the Misty, ink it up with a Versamark, press down, and then dump on some gold embossing powder and heat set. I'll do that for all six cards here. And now it's time to add the color with the Color Bursts by Ken Oliver. So you can do this a number of ways. You can wet your paper first. You can keep your paper dry and add it later. For this particular instance, I've got dry paper. I am tapping on some of those colors there, and then I am spraying the water. Now for the reds, I am using Alizarin Crimson and Merlot for these two. So I tapped out the powder. You, pow, uh, powder. you can also squeeze it out if you'd like, or you can tap it out, whatever you're comfortable with. There are some areas that were a little bit too intense. So I've got a paper towel. I'm just kind of dabbing it up. And then I will just zap that with my heat tool and move on. So those two were the two reds I've combined. With this one, I am going to go in with Terre Verte. I'm probably pronouncing these all wrong. So my apologies. Terre Verte which is a very beautiful green. Again, that was dry cardstock. Then I'm going in and spritzing it with some water. You can also spritz it with some perfect pearls too and get a really nice shine. And then I'm dabbing again some of that away. You totally just do whatever you want, whatever floats your boat, as I say. So in this instance, I'm gonna spray the water down first on the paper and then I'm gonna tap out some. This is in the color Merlot. So I'm just tapping that out with my fingers. And I'm kind of allowing the water to move around a little bit. You can always go in, add more water, take some water away by dabbing it up with a paper towel. It can create drip effects by just moving your paper around like I just did. You can also add some more water in areas that were a little bit too intense. It's just really whatever you want to do. And I love when you add these colors and then all, new colors arrive. Like I've got little specks of blue there. Like where did that come from? So here I am going in with another one. This is in the color Playtho Green. So the two greens are Playtho Green and Terre Verte. So I'm going in with both of those greens and just spritzing in some water, dabbing up a little away from that sentiment. And look, I've got a little red up in there. You see it? And some blues coming in. So here I am going in with the Alizarin Crimson Red. And look at the blue that's come from those uh, combinations of those colors. Isn't that cool? I just think that's cool. So here I, I'm wetting the paper first. And let's see, what color am I doing now? This is the Alizarin Crimson, and I'm tapping it out. You can see I'm tapping and squeezing. Look at those puddles that form. Isn't that cool? So here I am moving my shoebox around to create all these drip looks. Anytime I use color books, I do work out of like a shoebox or some kind of box just to contain the color. And also allows me to pick up the box and move it around a little bit. It just works easier for me rather than working on a flat surface. All right, now we've got one more. I'm going to, again, spray the paper first. And I'm going in with, let's see, what is this? Terre Verte? No, Playtho Green. Going in with some Merlot now. So I've got Playtho Green and Merlot down there in that corner. I ran out of water, so I switched up my water bottles. Look at those puddles down there at the bottom. Isn't that neat? 
So just basically you just go in and play, which I think is the most fun. And look at the blue that formed there right in the middle. Ah, so cool. Little masterpieces here with these color bursts. I dub thee the powders with power because that's exactly what they are. So there you go. I've got six Christmas cards that were so easy to make, and each one is uniquely different thanks to the Ken Oliver Color Burst Powders. I just think they're fantastic. So thank you guys for joining me today. But before you go, I've got four other videos uh, that you can check out if you'd like where I'm using the Color Bursts. If you click on each one, you can go right to the video. The top left one, I'm using Salt. The top right one, I'm doing an Emboss Resist bottom left one I'm stamping on wood with color bursts and the bottom right one I'm creating a panel and doing some die cutting so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I would love to have you you can just click right down there on the bottom where it says click here to subscribe and that will subscribe you to my channel so again thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time